spicy life fronts. Tidy whities as we call them in the US. So, living in the Philippines, uh, a, lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot happened in the Philippines. <laughs> but anyways, uh, if, if, uh, if you haven't been watching a bunch of these videos, um, you know, I often joke, Uncle Spud and I often joke that uh, we were born into child labor. It's not too far off, right? We were, we often, you know, we'd get dump trucks of mulch or dirt or whatever and would spend days shoveling and wheelbarrowing and all these things, you know, good solid character building stuff. And uh, so as usual, we're, in, we're living in the Philippines and we're, we're doing the gardening. And there's a couple, couple few things that happened this day that, that made it particularly entertaining. Um, we were carting around these giant bags of dirt for grams. And, you know, the Philippines is also like, you know, it's legit warm, legit humid. And so you know you're sweating and everything like that. And as we're carrying around these, these bags of dirt, I realize like, they smell funny. Turns out it's not dirt at all. It's cow manure or steer manure, whatever, some kind of fertilizer. And if I had known that, I probably would have completely changed the way I was carrying it rather than carrying it on my shoulder with my head against the bag and it just, you know, all of the stuff coming down my shirt. So I'm basically now soaked in, in uh, cow manure at this point, uh, which is pretty normal for gardening. And then on top of this, as, as the day was going on and it started getting hotter, I, I, it was like one of those things where I was walking and all of a sudden I was like, oh, you know, something, something didn't feel comfortable um, in the sensitive areas. I was like, okay. And so I just kind of pushed through it and, uh, and it, it started getting worse and worse and worse and worse until at one point I, I literally thought I was on fire. I don't, I didn't know what was wrong. Something was going on. And, but it was, it got so bad that I was like running around trying to figure out how to take my pants off and, and just, you know, obviously I didn't, I didn't do that in the yard, but I also couldn't go inside because I was covered in, in cow manure. And I looked over and uncle Spud <laughs> is just rolling. He's just rolling on the ground laughing because I'm in pain and stuff like that. And I later discovered that, uh, or right there as he was doing this, I, I discovered that uh, he had he had a well laid plan with delayed gratification strategy, where what he had done is he had taken jalapeno peppers that grew in our garden because we had all kinds of cool stuff that grew in the garden. I mean, we had mangoes, pineapples, jalapeno, all this stuff. So he took a bunch of the peppers that were growing in the garden. And he um, rubbed all of my underwear with it. And so that basically you didn't notice it at first because it was all kind of like cool and dry. There's nothing there. But as you're going along and in the heat, you're basically, things start getting warmer. You start sweating. It starts unlocking the, you know, the jalapeno. And next thing you know, you're on fire, right? And so, uh, the little punk, uh, he had a, <laughs> he got a really good kick out of, out of watching me run around, around the yard uh, with my pants on fire, basically. Thanks to him having uh, basically soaked my, my underwear in jalapeno peppers. Um, <laughs> so this is just thing that brothers do, right? I guess. So we, we had a lot of fun. This is, this is my best friend doing this to me, by the way. It's great. Um, so hopefully uh, you got a kick out of, uh, you know, some of the fun parts uh, of having a, a younger brother. Sweet. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs>